not permitted to go further. Turn back. Pyrocar says I'm allowed to examine Zardus's book. So he says that. All right, you may enter. The book you are looking for is over there on the alchemist's bench. Zarek Bandardo. Ah, the book's open. There's a letter and a key hidden inside.
Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there.
Hmm, so that's where you're hiding out. Damn far away. I'll need a ship to get there. Hey! I found a secret door. What? Where? Behind a bookshelf. What's behind it? It looks like an old underground vault. That is important news. I shall inform Pyrocar of it immediately. Meanwhile, you must find out what's in this cellar. I've been to the vault. And what did you find? There was a skeleton warrior down there, guarding a door. I killed him. Well done. We shall deal with the vault once we have conquered evil. I don't have enough problems. That's been known a long time. Hey, you! Salandril is here in the monastery. Well done. We shall deal with him later. Is there anything else you want to tell me? No, not at the moment, brother. Hey! I've been able to open Zardis' book. What? How did you do that? It well nigh drove me to despair. Is it really true? Just dumb luck, I suppose. Don't talk nonsense. Luck! When not even I succeed in opening the book, and then someone like you comes waltzing in? That gives me something to ponder about. Anyway... Since you were obviously the only one who was able to open the book, then may it be granted unto you to carry it, at least until we have weathered this crisis. I know where to find the halls of Erdorath. The temple is on an island. I found a nautical chart which shows the way. That is great! Then you will need a ship and a crew in order to face the enemy. But remember... You need to be well prepared if you want to vanquish the Master of Idorath. Where can I find a crew? Your crew should consist of men you can trust. Talk to your friends, and think about who could be useful to you once you are on the island. You are going to need a magician as well, but alas, I cannot spare a single man from the monastery. You will have to ask a magician who is not working within the monastery. The prophecy mentions the sacred aura of Inos. 
The Aura of Enos is an amulet which only the greatest magicians of an era are destined to wear. What sort of amulet is that? They say that Enos himself forged it and gave it as a present to humankind. It protects the one who wears from all kinds of damage. Can I have it? What? What do you want to do with that? Go up against the dragon. Yes, of course. I shall give you the amulet, but handle it with care. Yeah, sure. I do not wish to buy it back from a merchant later. Use it well, and may Enos guard you at all times. Teach me the last circle of magic. A lot of time has passed since you have entered the bond with the fire. Much has happened, and we find no rest. You are the chosen of Enos. Therefore, you will need all your strength to prevail in your battles. I shall now consecrate you, Chosen One. You are entering the Sixth Circle. May you bring light and disperse the darkness. You can now learn the magic formulas for the Last Circle from me, if you so desire. Oh, and one more thing. It took me a while to recognize you. You got that letter from me back when they threw you into the barrier. Yes, you spared me the judges blathering that way. And you are the Chosen of Enos. Receive now my blessing, O oh Chosen One. Enos, light of the sun and fire of the world, bless this man, your chosen servant. Give him courage, strength, and wisdom to follow the path which you have ordained for him. What are the tears of Enos? The tears of Enos are nothing but an old child's tale. It tells of how the battle between Enos and Belly are started at the beginning of time. I found this potion. That cannot be. I cannot believe it. What's the matter? If these are really the genuine tears of Enos, then... Hardly. Do not interrupt me. If these are the real tears of Enos, then we have a powerful weapon against the enemy. What do you mean by weapon? Legend has it that under the influence of this substance, the warriors of Enos were able to perform almost superhuman deeds. They were immune to all kinds of exhaustion and had the strength of two bears. The greatest heroic feats of the olden days were only made possible by the tears of Enos. I understand. But the tears can bring suffering and death as well. Only the members of our order may drink this draft. Anyone else, even the paladins of our lord, would face a cruel death. So what are the tears of Enos? When Enos realized that he had to fight Beliar, his own brother, in order to preserve creation, his sorrow was great. He started to weep, and his tears fell down onto the world. There were many of them, for his heart was so full of grief that he wept for 13 years. Get to the point. The people who found his tears and tasted them were filled with supernatural strength and clarity. They recognized the wisdom of Enos's creation and began to serve him. They were the first members of the community of the fire. The tears gave them strength, courage, and wisdom. But that is all very long ago, and it has been more than 250 years since anyone last set eyes on a tear of Enos. Jorgen is an experienced sailor. He could help me get to the Isle of Virdorath. That will not be so easy, I fear. He has signed on to work for the Brotherhood. He has neither paid the tribute nor brought us a sheep. Jorgen must finish his work first, then you can take him with you if you like. How long will it take? He used up the provisions which would have lasted a novice three weeks and all on the first day. So I cannot let him go before he has worked hard in our gardens for three months. What do I have to do so I can take Jorgen with me now? Hmm. There is indeed one thing you could do for me. 
Your good rapport with Zardas could help you with that. It has come to my attention that during these last few days, strange things have been going on in his tower. Many of the town people hear loud screams at night coming from there and see strange lights dancing over his tower, as if we didn't have our plate full already. Go check what is going on there and make it stop. Then you can have Jorgen. The thing with Zardis's tower has resolved itself. So what was going on? No, wait. I do not even want to know. If you still want Jorgen, then go ahead and take him on your journey. May Enos protect you. Instruct me. few things. You spent a long time in the monastery cellars. What did you find out? That's just what I said. I know now where the enemy is hiding. It's a small island not far from here. This is our big chance. We have to set out at once and destroy evil forever. Have you talked to Diego about it? I think he would want to accompany you. What about Gorn? Talk to him. I heard that he has returned from the Valley of Mines. And don't forget Lester. If you don't drag him out of his valley, he'll rot there. I also know my role in all this. I can increase your mana and be helpful in constructing runes once we face the enemy. When do we start? Welcome aboard. We should meet at the harbor. Wait for me there. Good. I'll be there when you're ready.
May Inos watch over you always. <laughs>